What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushrooms Toy Box, and here we have another Mystery Minis unboxing. This time, it's even though Comic Con's come and gone, <clears throat> I was able to find a couple cases of these Comic Con International exclusives. Let me see. And basically, what these are are little mini figure vinyl figures that are that are basically uh, they're like dunnies and uh, kid robot stuff but they're just tiny little figures and they're of uh, some popular Disney characters okay and this is series 2 by uh, Funko the company that doesn't take care of you with damaged product and uh, faulty goods so <laughs> yeah I'm a little bitter but it's okay um, so here are the uh, the very cool little mystery minis now the ones that are really kind of special are the glow-in-the-dark and the metallic so here they are let's go ahead and crack these open see what we got and uh, yeah I like um, let me see. you know I need a pair of scissors hold on one second I'm back so let's go ahead and open these up. Now these cost uh, $8.95 each. I did not get these at Comic Con. I got these at uh, Barnes and Noble. Um, these sold out pretty fast right after Comic Con, and I guess Barnes and Noble's got to get like a a shipment in. So they are at some Barnes and Noble. So I don't know if they're at all. So let's see what our first mystery mini is. Okay, we have this plastic bag. Our first guy is Donald Duck. Whoops. And as you can see, he's uh, detailed out pretty well. Hold on. Don't know why am I. There we go. As you can see, he's pretty cool. I used to like Donald Duck when I was a kid. I used to have a Donald Duck nightlight. Um, it was a scary looking nightlight, but it was still a nightlight. So, anyways, that's our first guy. Donald Duck looks like he's uh, up to no good. Let's see our next one. So, I don't know about you guys, but I, I kind of like collecting all these little tiny vinyl figures. I have so many. It's really really shocking um, my girlfriend hates me but but then she loves me so go figure all right let's see what we got here I think this is Buzz Lightyear because I can feel his jet pack yes it sure is and here he is now these figures do not move they're not articulate whatsoever they're just vinyl uh, vinyl little mini figures that's exactly what they are they're vinyl figures they smell like good. <laughs> so let's put him right there. Now you get a 1 in 12 chance of getting um, all of these. So And there are 12 of these in each case. So technically if you buy a case, you will get a full set. However, these were not taken from a sealed box. So they're from Barnes & Noble. Um, so somebody could have picked through and uh, grabbed others and multiples and whatnot. So, oh wow, ha! Okay, so here is a uh, Beast or Beauty and the Beast, right? However, look at his ears broke off. I mean, you can glue them back on, but that sucks. And. Uh, Yay, a testament to more of Funko's quality control. Now, a lot of Funko purists will probably get mad at me for saying that because uh, they're like, well, it's not their fault. Well, it is their fault. I, I buy stuff from Kid Robot, The Loyal Subjects, every vinyl toy company out there, and every single one of those companies stands behind their products. So if there's a damaged, damaged whatever, all I have to do is just contact them. They send me a new one. Funko, you call them and they're like, oh, sorry, we can't do anything. Pretty nice. Um, 
here's another Buzz Lightyear. This time he's, I don't know, sleeping? Sleep standing. So far so good. We have a, uh, we don't have a, any doubles yet, which is good because we'd like to get the whole set. Well, I would. <laughs> um, What is this guy? Ooh, this one I think is a Wally. -E. Let's see, Wally. -E. Now, the metallic ones it seem to be going for a lot on eBay. They're like 50 bucks or 45 bucks. And look what it is. It's a metallic one. That is super cool. So this is the rare Wall E, even though he's not really rare because he's one of 12. So... <laughs> But he's metallic, and that makes him more sought after by collectors. Now, let's see. But technically, if, if they're all 1 of 12 each, they're all uh, equal value. They should be of equal value because they have the equal amount made. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Funko's kind of new to this whole blind box thing, so... They don't, maybe they haven't really gotten it down right yet, so I don't know, we'll see. But here we have a Wreck-It Ralph. He's pretty cool. Alright, at least they stand on their own, that's what's kind of cool. I hate figures that don't stand. Because then you can't display them unless you use like, you know, putty or something. Museum putty. That's the secret, just so you know. Um, this one's tiny, so this one I think is Cinderella. Uh, or no, that's Alice. This is Alice in Wonderland, I think. Yep. And she has a very concerned look on her face. Like she's afraid of something. Like She's afraid of beast who is broken and has no ears. I don't know. Very cool. So far no doubles. This is a good unboxing, right? If I don't have any doubles, that means I don't have to open up that new that other case. Which should be great. So just uh just so we're just just to point something out, I don't know if you can see the schmutz there. This was sealed. It's a factory sealed item from Funko, but there's like nasty, grimy gook all over the, the box. So, I don't know. Funko needs to, to move their production to a different factory. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I'm saying it. I'm sticking it to. Sticking to it. And this one is the Cheshire Cat. Who is glow in the dark? I think. Yes. He is the glow in the dark Cheshire cat. So that's cool. So that's one of the special ones. And there's two more Cheshire cats. So why the double Cheshire cats or triple? I don't know. Why the double uh, Buzz Lightyear? Why two Wallies instead of one metallic? I don't know. Again, I don't know. Out of all the figures they could have used for Disney. I don't know. I don't. I will not uh, try to understand Funko's philosophy of how they do things. And here is another Cheshire Cat. This guy is funny. Look at that face. He's like, hmm, hmm. So that's cool. We have three more boxes of the first case to go. Let's see where, we, where it takes us. And then we'll, uh, we'll be done with this video. All right. Ah, oh, man. They sure do make these boxes hard to get into. It is another Cheshire Cat, but it's... <laughs> There's no uniform. No rhyme and reason with these guys. Here's the third Cheshire Cat. 
but he is not a duplicate, so that's cool. He's a duplicate of the glow in the dark version, as you can see. But one's glow in the dark, one's not. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that the glow in the dark body only glows, not the head. Okay. Two more cases. We should get a beauty. Or I forgot what her name is. From Beauty and the Beast, right? Or is it Cinderella? You guys tell me. Is this Belle? I think Belle, right? Is this Belle from Beauty and the Beast? Or is it Cinderella? No, it's Belle. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what this one is. I think this is a Wally because it's kind of heavy. And I am right. It is Wally. And this is a full case. So. Looks like everything is true. I got a full case. Oh, and look, and he's the unpainted, I mean, un-metallic uh, Wally. So, I gotta say, good detail, though. You know, these guys are pretty cool. The details are pretty indecent. You know? Wally's one of my favorite movies. It's a sweet, sweet, endearing movie. And this last one has to be Belle. Belle or Cinderella? That is the question. And I'm pretty sure that is uh, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. So, I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll soon find out. Oops, sorry. Yep, it's a tidy girl. Petite in the shape and form. And here we go with Dun 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 Super Tiny. So here's the weird thing. Her head should be tilted back. You know? But her head is normal. And if you look right there it's doesn't the construction's really shoddy there's like gaps and stuff and yeah I don't even whatever anyways there you have it the 19 or the 2014 comic-con exclusives Funko mystery minis Disneyland series number two these are not the mini bobbleheads. I'll never buy a bobblehead ever again. These are the, actually the little mini figures. So here we go. We got a complete set out of one case, and that's awesome because that's what we were hoping to get. And uh, there you go. Please give me a please give us a thumbs up, thumbs or claws up, thumbs up. Questions and comments down below, and. Uh, Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. Um, we'll see you at the next video. All right, bye-bye.